Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're taking a look at the best condenser mics for your studio for under $1,000. Now, when you're looking at adding a microphone to your microphone locker in your studio, there's some things that you'll want to consider. First of all, what I recommend is that you start with one great core mic for your locker and then you build from there. The temptation is to buy a whole bunch of different microphones, but I recommend you start with something that's really going to be good that you can build around. Now, a great choice when you're doing this is often a large diaphragm microphone, which is what we have here today. A large diaphragm is going to be great for vocals, and it also works really well on just about anything else, whether you're doing drums, you're doing acoustic guitar, electric guitar cabinets, bass guitar cabinet. A large diaphragm is going to work well in just about any situation. I also recommend that you look for something that's versatile, that can handle a wide range of different sources and environments. This might mean multiple polar patterns, it might mean something that has a wide frequency range. It really depends on what you're doing in your studio. If your primary focus is vocals, then a cardioid microphone is going to be great, and in fact a cardioid microphone is probably used in 95% of the situations in a home studio. But having those extra polar patterns can be a real advantage depending on different sources that you're working with. So you want to look at some of those sorts of things as well as other features such as pads, high pass or bass roll off filters, uh, being able to switch polar patterns as we mentioned. Some microphones will have a low pass filter. So there are other features that can be added on as well and those just extend the versatility of the microphone. One final thing to consider when you're looking at large diaphragm microphones like these is whether you want a tube microphone or a solid state microphone. Now there's a sonic difference. A tube microphone might have a different top end, it might have a different mid-range, a little different harmonic richness, but a solid state microphone might offer you a more accurate picture of what's happening in the room. So again, it depends on what you're doing in your studio. Are you recording vocals? Do you want more coloration? Do you want something that's more accurate? So you want to balance all those things and choose your mic accordingly. Now, as I mentioned, what we have here today are large diaphragm microphones. These are all condenser microphones, which means they require either phantom power or a separate power supply. I've got a mixture of tube microphones, we've got solid state FET microphones, Phones. Some of them require power supplies, some don't, and we'll talk about that as we look at each one of these microphones individually. What we'll do is talk about each microphone, and then I'll play a little bit for you on my acoustic guitar so you have a brief example to hear each microphone as well. First up, we have the Slate Digital VSM ML1. Now, this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, but it has a unique feature in that it features Slate's virtual microphone system, which allows it to sound like many different microphones. Basically, this is a very neutral, accurate microphone. It sounds great just by itself with no models on it, but then you can apply modeled microphone sounds to it and get the characteristic of those desirable microphones added on. So really, this microphone can serve as a great centerpiece for your studio because it can sound like so many different microphones. You can choose exactly the mic model that you want for each source. Next up here on my left, we have the Warm Audio WA87. Now this is a meticulous recreation of one of the most famous and most popular, most used large diaphragm FET microphones ever. You see this constantly being used on vocals, on drum overheads, on toms, on guitar cabinets. A really popular microphone because of the mid-range characteristics, the top end characteristics, and the presence that it offers. Now it has three switchable polar patterns. We have cardioid, figure eight, and omni, so you can choose exactly the pattern that you want for your room and for the source that you're recording. We also have a switchable high pass filter, as well as a switchable pad if you have high levels coming in. The WA87 makes a great choice, especially if you're focused on vocals, but you're also going to be doing some instruments as well. A great centerpiece for your mic locker. Our next microphone is on my far left, and it's a Loughton Audio LA320. Now, this is our first tube microphone. It's a large diaphragm tube condenser microphone. It has switchable high pass and low pass filters. It's an extremely versatile tube microphone that sounds great on a wide range of different sources. It's a great vocal mic, but because of that tube richness, it also works well on instruments, including guitars, acoustic instruments, piano, drums, all sorts of sources. 
Because it's a tube microphone, it does require an external power supply, and of course that comes with the microphone when you purchase it. Next up, we have the Neumann TLM-102, which is this compact microphone right in front of me here. It's still a large diaphragm condenser microphone, but that compact size allows for easy placement. The TLM-102 can handle high SPLs or sound pressure level, so it's great for drums, great for guitar cabinets. It has a wide range of applications. It's also excellent on vocals because it has a very sweet top end. It has that characteristic Neumann sound quality. Here in front of me to my left is the Mojave Audio MA201 FET. Now, this is a large diaphragm FET condenser microphone. The MA201 has sort of the characteristics of a U67, which is a very popular vintage microphone, but being an FET, it has a more prominent mid-forward sound with tight bottom end. This makes it excellent for kick drum, for bass guitar cabinet, for horns, and it's also a great vocal mic because it has a nice round top end that keeps vocals sounding smooth and rich. It doesn't get too sibilant, so it's not too spitty on the high end. It makes a great choice for a lot of different applications. Our next microphone here on my right is the Rode NTK. Now this is our second tube microphone in our roundup today. It's a large diaphragm tube condenser. Again, it requires an external power supply and that comes with the microphone. But it offers you a big, rich tube sound with a nice open top end. It's a natural sounding microphone with great dynamics, which makes it really good for vocals, instruments, a wide range of different applications. Now you're hearing me say that over and over again, and that's because it's true with all these microphones. They all really do work well in a wide variety of different situations and applications. Right here in the center in front of me is the Blue Microphone's Blueberry. Now this is a large diaphragm condenser that features Class A discrete circuitry, extremely high quality electronics in this microphone, and it sounds almost like a tube microphone because of that Class A circuitry. It has very high SPL handling or high audio level handling. That makes it great for drums, for horns, for guitar cabinets, for percussion, but it's also an excellent vocal microphone that will give you a nice sweet top end, but a rich, prominent mid-range as well.
The Audio-Technica AT4050 has been around for a long time, and that's because it's a very popular, very useful microphone that works well in many different situations. It's a large diaphragm condenser, and I've been using this for literally decades. It's excellent on just about everything. It has three switchable polar patterns, cardioid, figure eight, and omni, a switchable high-pass filter, and a switchable pad, so it's very versatile. <laughs> Finally, we have the Shure KSM44A. Now, this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and again, I've been using this for years because it works on so many different sources. We have Class A discrete circuitry, so it has a tube-like character to it, but it's nice and clean and nice and accurate as well. It's also an ultra-low noise microphone, which makes it great for quiet sound sources. And again, excellent on just about everything, vocals, instruments, as a room microphone. We have three switchable polar patterns, Omni, Cardioid, and Figure 8, a switchable high-pass filter, and a switchable pad. So again, very versatile microphone that works well in a wide range of different applications. I hope you've enjoyed this look at these nine microphones. They're great choices, and each one comes in at under $1,000, so they're very affordable as well. Each one would make a great centerpiece for your mic locker, going to provide coverage over a wide range of different sources, a wide range of different applications, and you can choose exactly the one you want for the sound quality and the features that you want for your mic locker. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching today. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. For more videos like these, click here. Or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.